everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am here today with another haul video, this time from Jackson's Art and I am so excited to unbox this and show you everything that I have purchased. I think I'm going to be really happy because I really thought about absolutely every item that I was buying. I didn't want to buy stuff that I knew I wouldn't use and would just be a waste of money. Let's get this box opened. has everything come packaged in here. I, I think that with Jackson's they really do take care of how they package everything in their boxes. Everything seems really really well taken care of. Okay so I am so excited to get into this box. Everything is individually wrapped and it honestly feels like it's Christmas or my birthday so I can just get into everything, open everything up and I will show you what I have bought. Starting with acrylic paints, I bought quite a few of the Studio Acrylic Paints by Jackson's because I thought these would be really handy just for when I'm working in the studio on sort of practice pieces and I'm not wanting to use a lot of my really expensive acrylics. I bought a Hansa Orange. So this acrylic paint is good on light fastness. So obviously it's not going to be as light fast as say the Jackson's professional acrylics, but this will be absolutely perfect for working in the studio and just doing some practice pieces and thumbnails and just working through some different compositions in my sketchbook or on some mini canvases. So I picked up this, it was 11 pounds for 500 mil. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this paint is like more unwrapping. I also bought and picked up a phthalo blue um, in 200ml. I quite like the squeezy bottles although one thing that I am concerned about with these is that it will get quite clogged up in the nib here so that's something that I'm going to watch out for. I'll let you know how I get on with them. The phthalo blue has got an excellent light fast rating so I think this is going to be a really good paint to be trying out. I also picked up a burnt umber because it's quite a good basic. This one also has an excellent light fast rating. I also bought this magenta. I thought it would be a really nice colour again to prime with but I'm really looking forward to using this because I'd quite like to create some nice vibrant botanical paintings so I'm looking forward to using this one. The magenta has got an excellent light fast rating. I've also got the Prussian blue which also has an excellent light fastness so again really good option if you're on a budget. I also got a green hue. I picked this one up because I'm wanting to work on some botanics and I thought this one would be a good base and it has got a good light fastness and a Payne's Grey because I really love Payne's Grey. It's one of the colours that I always go to in my watercolours so I've picked up an acrylic paint of Payne's Grey. This one has also got an excellent light fast rating so I think it will be really good to use in my studio. Each of those 200ml paints cost me £5.50 so I picked up quite a few of their own brand acrylics just for using in the studio because I want to do a lot more in terms of acrylic painting so I thought in terms of practice buying some of their cheaper paints would be the best way to go. I'm intrigued to see what's in this bubble wrap. Oh, I remember now. I've bought some of the Jackson's masking fluid for my watercolors. It feels like it's going to be um, quite a loose one to use, but I did purchase this because my masking fluid is getting quite low and I wanted to see what the Jackson's one was like. And I thought that this one was actually quite a reasonable price. It was the, the masking fluid and the applicator set. I thought it looked like quite a good little set to purchase and it was really reasonable in price. It cost me £5.80 for the masking fluid and the applicator. The masking fluid applicator. So this one just lifts off there's a little nib in there and that will be a really highly precise applicator for my masking fluid i find masking fluid so useful i think everybody should have a masking fluid in their watercolor set or in their watercolor kit because it is invaluable to have. I also picked up quite a few Jackson's own brand watercolours in 
the half pans. I've got a little watercolour palette that I would like to fill so I picked up some of the half pans and I think that they're really really good value. They offer a really high quality paint for such a small amount of money. Each of the half pans cost £2.50 and I picked up quite a few colours to fill my watercolour palette. I've kind of forgotten what colours I've purchased so it'll be quite interesting and exciting to look through and see what I have got but I'm looking forward to putting that watercolour palette together which I will be doing in a future video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. So I've bought an ivory black, a violet deep hue, an indigo, opera rose, a yellow ochre, I've got viridian, a thalo green, a thalo blue, a french vermilion, and then my favourite, a Payne's Grey. I've just gone for Jackson's own brand because I want to test out what their products are like, whether it's worth buying Jackson's and also whether you can kind of replace some of the more expensive brands with their own cheaper brand. Jackson's claim that their watercolours are just as good as any of the top leading brands today so it'll be really interesting to see what they are like when I swatch them. I'm going to test them out in a future video so if you want to see what my verdicts are on the Jackson's art brand then make sure you subscribe so you can see whether you can save yourself a little bit of money rather than buying all of the expensive brands. I also picked up a few of Jackson's paint brushes, first one being this quill paintbrush. It is really nicely detailed around the edge here on the handle to the brush. It's got some nice metal clasp detailing and I just thought this would be a really nice watercolour paintbrush. So I picked up this one, it was £5.50 and it feels really nice. I like the feeling of the handle. It's got that sort of nice smooth finish feel to it. I did want a larger paintbrush, like one of the nice big mop paintbrushes. However, I was a bit reluctant to spend any more money. I'd already purchased quite a few items and paintbrushes can be really, really expensive. If you have any recommendations for paintbrushes, let me know in the comments because I am after some new paintbrushes. I want to get some really nice quality paintbrushes and I would really love some of your recommendations. The other two paintbrushes that I bought were actually within their sample area. If you are on the Jackson website, you can pick yourself up samples of paintbrushes and papers and also some paints and things and you can get them at a slightly cheaper price. The papers are just little samples, but it will give you an idea on whether you like the products or not, so you can then purchase them on a bigger scale. For instance, like I got, sometimes they have paintbrushes. This one is a synthetic paintbrush and it is a six. Quite a nice small detailed brush, but it was cheaper than purchasing it from the regular part of the website. So that is a handy little hack for you. Have a look through what they have in the sample section because you might be able to pick yourself up a nice little bargain like I have here. This will give me a good idea on whether I like these paintbrushes and whether I want to then repurchase any other sizes, but it was cheaper than buying it elsewhere on their website. The last paintbrush that I got is one of their studio synthetics again by Jackson's and it's a nice synthetic watercolour brush. It's in a six. I got this one in their sample section so it was slightly cheaper than where their regular paintbrushes are. I think it would be really useful to see if I like this particular paintbrush by Jackson's and then I can repurchase in different sizes. One of the really handy things like I said about Jackson's is that you can purchase samples and you can test out some different types of paper and I picked up a few different papered samples in today's haul because then I will know whether I want to buy them on a larger scale. So I got two sheets of this Canson Heritage watercolour paper. I picked up a hot press and a cold press to see what I thought. The hot press is really quite smooth, it's 300 GSM or £140 and then the fine grain cold pressed, it's got a higher grain to it than the hot press. Both of them provide me with enough paper there to swatch to see what I think they're like. I also picked up this really cute mini pad. It's by Stonehenge and it's an aqua 
aqua cold press black watercolor paper i thought this would be really useful to try out one of you guys commented on my winter and newton iridescent watercolor medium video saying you would have liked to have seen it on a black watercolor paper so i thought i would buy one see if i like it and if i do i can then purchase on a larger scale but at the moment i'm thinking that this paper is really nice quality it feels really nice it's really thick so i might purchase as a full size so i'm looking forward to trying that and it's also really really cute in that size i then picked up some of jackson's eco papers and you get three sheets of paper in here in different thicknesses or weights of paper you get a 300 gsm a 425 gsm and also a 1200 gsm and they all vary in their grain as well from quite a smooth medium to an extra rough paper i will be able to swatch on each of these pieces of paper and then test out to see what i think of them and and then that way I can make a decision on which ones I want to repurchase and which ones I think will be unnecessary. So I'm looking forward to trying those out. And then lastly on the samples, I picked up the Jackson's Two Rivers watercolor paper and it's white handmade rag watercolor paper. You get three pieces in this one, a 300 GSM, a 410 GSM and also a 600 GSM. And they are just these really nice little squares of paper that I can do some miniature paintings on to really test those out and I can let you know what I think of them. So I'm looking forward to trying out all of those products. I will be using them in my next video. I'll be swatching everything that I have purchased and I will be giving you my full thoughts on the Jackson's art range. I do have an affiliate link in the description box. You'll be able to get 10% off of your first order and any purchases that you do make, I will earn a really small commission on, which will be really, really helpful. If you are watching from elsewhere, I know quite a few of you are from the US, then Jackson's do ship worldwide. So if you're interested in checking out any of their products and you want to try out some of the Jackson's own brand or any of the other products on there, you can purchase them and they do ship worldwide. So you don't need to miss out. If you have used Jackson's in the past, you have some experience with them, let me know in the comments what you have thought. I used them for the very first time. I got free next day delivery with them because I purchased over 75 pounds. I found them to be incredibly good with delivery. I had no issues with delivery. It came very, very quickly. If you are looking for some more haul videos, go and check out this playlist because I have tons on there from all of the different places I have bought art supplies from. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my videos where I try these products out. I do have a another haul video coming up from Cass Arts. Let me know in the comments which ones you are most interested in seeing and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!